In this video, I'm going to talk about what are rebates in trading. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so have you heard this phrase, trading for rebates, or I get rebates from my trading? Let's have a look at the two different definitions that are kind of thrown around there and two really different ways of trading and how rebates work. So the first one, the traditional one, which goes back a long, long time ago, and it's kind of something that people actually would trade just for rebates. They weren't looking to trade to guess the momentum or guess the movement of the stock or trade in the traditional way. They were literally trading for rebates. How would they do it? It's how they would do it. And ECN would basically incentivize people to provide liquidity. So in other words, these guys would say, hey, if you provide liquidity, i.e. add liquidity, in other words, you're not removing liquidity. The de definition of that is if you've got a buy, if you've got a, um, a kind of market depth book here and you've got 100, 99, 98, 101, 102, 103, very, very crudely, and you'd have price and volume at each of those levels, that would be your kind of market depth of the exchange. I have done a video on this that goes into a lot more depth to so go and check it out if you haven't yet. But ultimately, if you come along and you want to buy, you've got two choices. You're either buying and taking the 101 or you're joining the queue at any one of these price points and waiting for somebody to come to you to sell to you. If you're taking the 101, you're removing liquidity. If you're coming in and joining the queue here at 100 or 99, 98 or lower, you're adding liquidity when somebody trades against you and fills you, you are deemed to be adding liquidity. So these ECNs would say, hey, if you provide liquidity, we will give you X pence, X cents per share or percentage back on your trade. So they would actually pay you to trade. And if you have a good structure and you're going direct to the market and you're doing a lot of volume, some of these guys will be literally sitting on the bid, on the offer with massive size so that they could literally just trade for liquidity. All day long, they'd be capturing maybe a bit of spread, but even if they didn't capture the spread in the traditional market maker sense, if they're breaking even, they'd be making money from these rebates from the ECNs that said to them, hey, you know what? Thanks for providing liquidity. Here's some money back for doing so. You're encouraging liquidity in the market. Now, some of the big stocks now, there's an argument out there that says they don't need it, but there's also an argument that says for the smaller illiquid stocks, we need to provide incentive for people to put liquidity in there and take the risk of leaving resting orders, and that has to be a rebate. So that's really kind of the US model of providing liquidity and being paid for that function. That's something that a retail trader can do if you open a standard account, as long as you've got the right account and you've got a broker who kind of supports that, then these are available to most people. Okay, now the other side of, of rebates is the rebates that maybe you're more familiar with if you're trading Forex or if you're trading indices or if you're trading anything like that. If you're trading through a platform like Intertrader, for example, they will give you a percentage back of your spread based on how much volume you do. So in a nutshell, let's say you're trading something that has a two point spread and you're trading 10 pounds a point, say, and we're talking spread betting here, obviously it's different for CFD. Your total is gonna be 20 pounds spread for doing that trade. Into trade or whoever the broker may be will say, hey, if you manage to do over, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but it's some, maybe something like, you know, 2,000 pounds worth of spread costs a month, uh, we will rebate you a certain percentage of that. So we'll give you back maybe 5% of that. Or if you kind of do more, maybe you do 10,000, 20,000, we'll give you 10% of that back. It's a different way uh, as opposed to the traditional rebate model, but what it does do is it's encouraging your loyalty. It's encouraging you to trade through that platform and incentivizing you and saying, hey, you know what? Thanks for your business. Much appreciated. The more business you put through us, the kind of more we'll give back to you. So rather than giving you a discount on the spread, on all spreads, the spreads are pretty tight anyway, especially for someone like Intertrader. They are saying, hey, you know what? If you do a reasonable amount of volume and you're quite active with us and you're putting a lot of money flow in, no matter what instrument you're putting in, we're going to reward you at the end of the month uh, with a little bit of a kickback and to say thank you. So that's a kind of nice bonus that we tend to forget. So if you're a very active short-term trader, it's a good thing to look into. But there's a distinct, distinct difference between actually going on the exchange and getting the rebates from the ECN as there is to kind of being rewarded for your custom and your loyalty and the volume you're putting through um, a broker. Anyway, guys, that's rebates. If you like the video, thumbs up. See you in the next one. Take care.
Bye-bye.